I welcome you once again to Menalize TV and this time around we are looking at the Pythagoras theory. Pythagoras was one of the greatest mathematicians of all time and he came with this formula that the hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus the adjacent square. So that's why they named the formula after him as the Pythagoras theorem. So the longer side as the hypotenuse the square of this side is the same as the square of the opposite plus the square of the adjacent. So the opposite and adjacent, it will depend upon the position of the angle. So if the angle is here, this side becomes the opposite and this becomes the adjacent. If the angle is here, then this side becomes the opposite and this becomes the adjacent. But if we have the angle here, then this side becomes the opposite and this becomes the adjacent. Now let's look at how positions have been set. The diagram that we have here, you have to find the value of x. So since we have the angle here, that means this side becomes the opposite and this becomes the adjacent. So we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem to find the value of the x. The diagram that we have here, the x is the hypotenuse. So as we have the angle here, that means the 3 is the opposite and the 4 is the adjacent. So that means that x squared is equal to 3 centimeters all squared plus 4 centimeters all squared. So that means our x squared is going to be 3 centimeters all squared will give us 9 centimeters squared plus 4 centimeters all squared will give us 16 centimeters squared. So 9 plus 16 will give us 25 centimeters squared. So since we are looking for the value of x, not x squared, we need to find the square root of the x and then the 25 centimeters squared. So that means our x squared is equal to 25 centimeters squared. So our x there is 5 centimeters. So which means that if the opposite is 3 centimeters and the adjacent is 4 centimeters, definitely the longest side, the hypotenuse, will be 5 centimeters. So the diagram that we have here, you have to find the value of y. So since we have the angle here, that means this is the opposite. And then the longest side is the hypotenuse. So we know that. You know that the hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus adjacent square. But here, when you look at this, since the angle is here, it means this is the opposite, and this is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent. So we can say that the adjacent square is equal to hypotenuse square minus opposite square. So for us to find the adjacent square, we need to substitute the values in. So the hypotenuse square there is 13 minus the adjacent, which is 5. So we need to find the square of this, and the square of this should be equal to the adjacent square. So 13 squared, that is 13 times 13, will give us 169. And 5 times 5, or 5 squared, is 5 times 5, and you get 25. So now when you take 25 from 169, you will have 144 left. So we have the adjacent square which is equal to 144. So for us to find adjacent alone, then we need to find the square root of adjacent square and then the square root of 144. which means that our adjacent is 12 there. Pythagoras theorem always occurs in our everyday life. When you lean a ladder against a wall, so the length of the ladder is the hypotenuse, maybe the height of the wall can be adjacent as well as 
the foot of the ladder to the foot of the wall can be the opposite as well. So the same way you use the Pythagoras theorem to find trigonometry questions. So on the board we have so ka toa. So the so there the x here means sin. The c here means cosine. And the t here means tangent. Tangent. The two of is called the tangent. So what is the scene there? So the scene means opposite over hypotenuse. So that's why you have the OH there. So when you come to cosine, the cosine there is what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. And then the last but not the least, the tangent. Which means opposite over adjacent so in this diagram we are going to find the same x cos x the same as tan x so from here we can say that our hypotenuse there is 5 centimeters since the angle is here the 4 becomes the opposite so our opposite is 4 centimeters and then the three here is our adjacent so adjacent three centimeters to find the sign x we know that the sign is the opposite over the hypotenuse so our opposite here is four and our hypotenuse is five so that means the sign x is four out of five now we are asked to find cos x the cos means what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So our adjacent here is 3. And then the hypotenuse is 5 there. Then we are asked to find the tan x. The tangent is the opposite over adjacent. So the opposite here is 4 and adjacent is 3. So you have the 4 out of 3 here. So thanks so much for watching today's episode. Remember to subscribe to the channel Menalize TV for more updates. Thank you.